Yeah. Yeah, the terminology on prodromal RBD is very new and is even earlier than RBD. We looked at this in our DENOPA cohort some years ago, and we found that in some uh, de novo Parkinson patients and even in earlier patients, we found only some little jerks during the REM sleep not fulfilling yet the diagnostic criteria of REM sleep behavior disorder. But out of these little jerks in the REM sleep, out of small vocalizations within two, four, or six years, the full blown picture of RBD has developed. And so it's more a continuous process instead of a yes and no. It just starts very early with early changes of motor behavior in the REM sleep and then continues to RBD and continues to a neurodegenerative disease. And therefore, it's so important to even detect these early prodromal RBD if we want to intervene in these populations for with a treatment against a development of neurodegenerative disease. Yeah, knowing these very early stages of prodromal RBD and then the full RBD, then the neurodegenerative disorder, and then if we look into Parkinson's disease in the early stage, but also in patients with advanced Parkinson's disease, we see an increase of the prevalence within the PD population of RBD. So for example, in the advanced fluctuating PD patients, more than 80% are showing RBD if you investigate their sleep with the polysomnography. And this will tell us that there is a progression of the um, neurodegenerative process that also involves the areas of the brain that are involved in REM sleep regulation that's going on from the early start of the disease until the advanced stages. And there is another parameter that's called REM, REM uh, atonia. So that's the muscle, muscle tone of the chin that you can score in a PSG during REM sleep. And this you can very nicely quantify. And there is an increase of the, of the um, amount of REM without atonia during the disease of Parkinson's. So finally, in advanced stages, you have an increase REM without atonia in those patients with RBD compared to the very early stage. And this is another hint that this um, may become a progression marker.